You, you tell a story about your sister oh. receiving a guitar as a present. Yes, well, when I was very young, I, I grew up in the 60s, a little child. I was born in 61, mm -hmm. and so 60s and 70s, great music during yeah. that time. Yeah. And um, I was about eight years old, and, and I was wanting to somehow play music, didn't know how, and one day my father came home with a guitar for my older sister, mm. and it just made me crazy, and, <laughs> and she, yeah. she didn't touch it, and they said that I was too young, that my fingers would bleed, and I pleaded and pleaded, and, and they, finally, um, they finally let me take lessons. My fingers bled, but I kept playing, and uh, my sister never touched a guitar again, and you yeah. know, the rest is history. And you had, but you must have had a calling. I mean, you really, there are some people that always know what they're gonna do. Yeah, if the calling is, oh my God, I love this, I, I only want to do this, I, I can't do anything else, yes, I had a calling, you know, that was, because it and I loved music, and even though there wasn't a lot of women it, that I had as, as you know, mentors or, or things I could look up to, um, it, that didn't matter at all. It, it was just like, this is what I'm gonna do, and you, and I just think with anything, you just get out and you just do it every day, and you don't really know you're doing it until you turn around and look back and go, well, look what I did. Look at me. I'm so glad that your sister never touched that guitar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad.